Hello and welcome to lecture 2 of the course Introduction to Programming with Python. In this video, we'll talk about course software setup. So in specific, I'll show you how to install Anaconda. Uh, so before we install Anaconda, for Miniconda, you can follow the link in the description to get a step-by-step -step guide to installation. So let's install Anaconda. So step one is to go to the following link. So you can open this link in any browser. So just go to www.anaconda.com distribution. So once you reach this page, just scroll down. You should see something like this. As you can see that Python 3.7 and Python 2.7, both versions are available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So because mine is a Windows machine, so I'll be downloading Windows. So you have to select which OS you want first. So click on Windows or Mac OS or Linux. And then download Python 3.7 because this is the one that we'll be using for this course. Okay, so once this is download, downloaded on your computer, so once the download is complete, you should run the anaconda.exe file, which is downloaded on your computer, obviously. So when you run that, it'll ask you for some options. So click next and accept the license, licensing agreement. And then click next for all other subsequent options, except if you want to change something in the default settings. For example, if you, if you want your uh, files to be saved somewhere else apart from the default settings, right? And so then finally click install. So this might take a couple of minutes. So you'll have to sit patiently for those couple of minutes until it's installed. And finally you'll see a screen that will have the finish button on it. So just click finish to complete the installation. So once the installation is done, we are interested in opening Spider because that's where we'll be writing our programs, right? So on the Windows Start menu, you should go to the Anaconda Navigator, which I'll show you shortly how to do that. For Mac machines, you have to go to the Anaconda app through the launchpad and you'll see the Spider option there. So let me show you how to open Spider for the first time in Windows. So here's the Start button and you will see a folder with Anaconda 3. Just open that folder and you can get Spider. So let it open. Okay, so I have this installed from before, but this is what it should look like. And so this is where we'll be writing our scripts or our code. And this is where you see the result. I'll talk more about this console, the spider console in detail in the next lecture. But for now, this is it. See you in lecture three.